Hello, it's Monday the 7th. I'm FX Plu and this is the Market Brief. Uh, so the G7's been on. Uh, their finance meeting agreed on a global tax regime. Uh, this has been a long time coming and uh, while the finer details still need to be ironed out, the aim is to ensure that the global giants like Amazon and Facebook will be taxed at the right rate, which appears to be 15%. Um, that was the pre-game to the main G7 meeting in Cornwall this weekend. Uh, the focus there will be on vaccinating the world, uh, a bit of climate change and of course cooperation to ensure the Covid recovery is globally robust. So plenty of good intent there at least. Um, so John Cunliffe's been on. He's the Deputy Governor for Financial Stability at the Bank of England. Um, he's a little surprised by the pace of the UK recovery. Um, of course, the high street is slow to recover. Uh, he feels this may be down to a systemic shift after the pandemic sent so many shoppers online, but one to watch in the retail sales. Uh, but looking at the calendar, it should be a pretty quiet week ahead. Friday will be the main focus when we have GDP data, we've got manufacturing and industrial production and trading goods which will provide an updated view on the post-Brexit trading conditions with the EU. Uh, sterling kicks off the new week around 141.20 against the dollar. Uh, we're still in the same range, fairly narrow range uh, as we were last week between about 140.70 and 142.50. Uh, that was when the market was looking ahead for, for non-farm payrolls and the sweepstake did not disappoint. Well, the result did. Uh, the data definitely disappointed. The market wanted to see about 650,000 new jobs and we only saw 556,000. But the sweepstake, oh, it was a rip-roarer where the bids were pretty evenly split between Team Over and Team Under. Congratulations, of course, to Richard Rawlinson, who took the top spot for a second time, no less, with a suspiciously accurate bid of 555,000. But the data has provided the Fed with further justification for their wait and see approach, um, and it will probably ease the pressure for more forward guidance. It looks like we'd need more than half a million new jobs to force the Fed to face up to rising inflation. Uh, but the dollar index reflected the market disappointment, um, dropping to about 89.65 after the data came out. Euro dollar trades in a pretty familiar range between about 121 and 122.50. And we kick off the new week, middle for diddle, about 121.50. Right, that's it from me. Um, have a great Monday and do join me again tomorrow. If you do not have a clue, then just tweet through and ask FX Blue.